Getting back to the shorts here, <laughs> you had mentioned 16% short interest in the stock. Right. Uh, so take a look at Wall Street's most hated stocks, because there are a lot of them, and they have higher percentages in terms of shorts. Tesla, 25% of the float short, Under Armour, Discover, Mattel, and then you see Cleveland Cliffs also making the list. It has been a good month for the shorts, though, with Under Armour down 14%, Mattel down 9 Tesla down 2 Which ones of these stocks would you maybe venture a short on? I'm not sure I'd venture short necessarily on all of those. The one thing I would say about this, what everybody's missing, shorts aren't a bad thing because they have to cover. Sure. So when the stock goes down, that's your buy support. I mean, this is just natural market action. So I, I wouldn't, I, I don't get that upset if people are short the stock. I think Tesla might be worth a, a gamble on the uh, short side. I on think, the short side. Yeah, I think that there's been a lot of people that are saying, hey, maybe it's run its course to the downside. Mm -hmm. I'm not one of those people. I still think you have a lot of room to the downside in this one. It's dangerous, don't get me wrong. All shorts are dangerous, but I do think that you're going to get another shot in Tesla. Well, the companies up there that are the most broken, in my view, are actually Mattel and, and Under Armour. Those are the companies that I think actually, um, Under Armour, that's more debatable, but you could still make an argument that they've had enormous uh, turnover in the, in the C-suite, uh, that the growth has really run into a wall at a time that the competitors have gotten stronger. Mattel is a story that, to me, for a long time, I actually was playing the bottom, and frankly, it was a terrible call. Um, I do think that a lot of the worst is priced into this name, and I think it actually is not cheap, but a lot of bad news has been priced in on the toy sector, and Mattel is one place I might nibble. Yeah, so just to piggyback on uh, Steve a little bit, Tesla could be really interesting. It could set up very similar to Netflix, what we saw. You know, we, obviously, sentiment is very poor. We had an analyst come out who's not particularly positive on the stock, said Model 3 could be really good deliveries. If you get a pop off that and they still haven't raised capital, I think you sell but that. When you say like Netflix, does that mean Netflix, which rallied off the lows? No, Netflix you... had very poor sentiment into its print. It and gapped it, up afterwards and, and gave it it basically had given it all back. And I think that if you can get a pop, in a name like this off of news that maybe we're kind of expecting, that's when I think you lay that short out.